Welcome to Atoms, the Chem Updates. Today, we are going to discuss about the topic naming of organic compounds. In our previous lesson, we discussed about alkanes, alkenes and alkynes and alkyl groups also. Subscribe our channel for further videos. Let's start our today's lecture. Naming of organic compounds. For naming an organic compound, we want to follow certain rules. Rule number one. Selection of the longest carbon chain. First of all, we want to find out which is the longest carbon chain. Second rule, identify the presence of multiple bonds. In the parent chain, how many multiple bonds are there or not, we want to identify that. Third rule, identify any functional group present in or not. Fourth rule, identify any branches present or not. Here branches means any substituents are attached or not. Fifth rule, number the parent chain. While we numbering the parent chain, always remember the substituents must get the least number. That means while numbering to the parent chain from left to right or right to left, the substituents must possess the lower value. If more than one substituents are there, write in the alphabetical order. According to the alphabetical order only, we are able to arrange while naming the compounds. For example, if two substituents are there, first of all, write both the substituents, then find out which substituent come according to the alphabetical order first. That substituents must be right at the top. So, for naming the organic compounds, we want to take care of these main rules. Rule number one, selection of the longest carbon chain. Second one, identify any multiple bonds present or not. Third one, identify the presence of functional group. Fourth one, identify any branches present or not. Fifth one, number, while numbering, the substituents must possess the lowest number. And the last one, substituents are arranged in alphabetical order. Check one example. How we are going to name this compound? First of all, look the parent chain. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It is a 5 carbon. You can name 1, 2, 3, 4. So, according to the rule, the parent chain must contain longest hydrocarbon so 1 2 3 4 5 that is the parent chain while numbering from left to right or right to left the substituent must possess the lowest number in this case if we number from left to right or right to left the substituent have the same number for example 1 2 3 4 5 from right to left, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. In this example, if we number from left to right or right to left, the substituent possesses the same number, 3. So we can choose any one of the numbering way. The parent chain contains 5 carbon atom. So 5 carbon atom, the root is pent. This parent chain contains only single bond, so the compound is pentane. Now, the substituent. In the third carbon, there is a substituent. That substituent is CH3. In the previous video, we learned about alkyl groups. So, this group is methyl group. So, the compound name is 3 methyl pentane so the compound name is 3 methyl pentane now we are going to check the second example in this compound first of all we are going to number 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 from that side 1 2, 3, 4, 5, 
six, seven. Two ways numbering is possible. Left to right and right to left. In this method, the first numbering way, we can see in the third carbon, there is a substituent and the sixth carbon, there is a substituent. While numbering from here to this side, second carbon possesses one substituent and fifth carbon possesses one substituent. According to our numbering rule, the substituent must possess the lowest number. So, this numbering is favorable. According to this numbering, the compound will come. Third carbon have a substituent. There is a substituent methyl. And sixth carbon have a substituent methyl group. According to this numbering, second carbon contain a substituent and fifth carbon contain and another substituent. So according to the numbering rule, the substituent must possess the lowest number. So this numbering is not acceptable. This is acceptable one. So in the second carbon and the fifth carbon, both possess the same substituent that is methyl group. So we are able to write 2, 5, dimethyl. The longest parent chain contain 7 carbon atom. According to the organic chemistry concept, 7 carbon contain hydrocarbon is the root name is hept. This parent chain contain only single bond. So it ends with the A. So the compound name is 2,4-dimethylheptane. Now let's see the third example. In this compound, we are going to number from left to right and right to left. 1, 2, 3, 4. That is 4th carbon contain 1 substituent. 5, 6, 7, 8. That means the longest parent chain contain 8 carbon atoms. From this side, why we are numbering 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. While we are checking this, the 4th carbon contain 1 substituent and 6th carbon containing 1 substituent. While numbering from this side, 3rd carbon contain 1 substituent and the 5th carbon containing 1 substituent. According to our rule, the substituent possesses lowest number. So this numbering is not acceptable. So we are going to accept the numbering from this side onwards. So in the third carbon contain one group that is 3. CH3 is methyl group. And fifth carbon contain one ethyl group. In our alkyl group lecture video, we discussed about alkyl groups. There we mentioned C2H5 is ethyl group. So, fifth carbon contain ethyl group. Now, we are going to check the rule. The substituents always write according to the alphabetical order. According to the alphabetical order, ethyl will come first. So, the compound is 5 ethyl 3 methyl the parent contain 8 carbon 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 8 carbon according to the root name 8 means oct the compound contain only single bond so it ends with the A so the compound name is 5 ethyl 3 methyl octane now check the another example. In this compound, why we are going to number 1, 2, 3, 4. Fourth carbon contain one substituent. Fifth, sixth carbon contain another substituent. And that means this parent chain contain seven carbon atom. So seven carbon contain parent is hept. 
according to the root name, seven carbon containing root name will come hept. By numbering from this side, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Here, second carbon contain the substituent and the fourth carbon containing the another substituent. So, according to the rule in naming system, the substituent must possess the lowest number. So, this numbering is not acceptable. So, second carbon contain two substituents. Both the substituents are same, that is methyl group. How many methyl groups? Second carbon contain two methyl groups. So, 2 means di, di methyl groups, which carbon? 2. If the same carbon contain the substituents, we want to write the position both times. 2, 2, di methyl and the fourth carbon contain another substituent that is ethyl group. Ethyl and this parent contain 7 carbon so that means hept it contains single bond only so the compound is heptane so that means 2 2 dimethyl 4 ethyl heptane while we are writing this way this name of this compound is wrong because this di and ethyl e according to the alphabetic this prefix we will not consider. So we will consider only M and E. According to the rule, the alphabetical order, while we are arranging, ethyl will come first instead of methyl. So the right name of this compound is 4 ethyl 2 2 dimethyl. The parent contain 7 carbon. So, the root is hept. It contains only single bond. So, the compound is heptane. So, the compound is 4 ethyl 2 2 dimethyl heptane. Now, solve this question. If you have any doubt related to this topic, you can comment in our comment box. We will answer for you. Thanks for watching our video. Please subscribe our channel for further videos. Keep in touch.